hi everyone welcome back to my channel today we are parked outside a vets teddy is very happy he's actually shaking a little bit um oh, i don't know if the camera's picking up on that teddy it's okay he's okay um we're in manchester at the moment back where we used to live and teddy is back at his old vets getting sterilized again um we did it a couple of years ago we got him chemically castrated so it's a new thing i think for dogs um where they can have an implant put in them a six month or a 12 month dose and he had a six month last time and i felt like it lasted like 18 months so he's going again because he has started marking constantly in the house he's been peeing up door frames um and it's driving me mad but he's also started trying to hump phil never nico because nico's too dominating i think but he is trying with Phil and it's just not fair to Phil. But I'm also, I don't want to make the permanent decision. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get him chemically castrated and I thought I'd take you along with us so you can see what it's like. Sorry, Teddy. Say bye-bye for a little bit. Bye-bye to all your hormones. So you try to mount a boy. The old man still got it in him. Yes. Yes. You will suffer. The vet's just taken him to the back room because they have to shave him, so they need another vet to hold him. You, I never know why, but owners are never allowed to hold their dogs. But as he was leaving the room, he did that. I knew he was going to do it. I knew it. Guaranteed. Little mark, so I'm in here mopping it up while I'm waiting for him to come back. Is that fun? Hello. Hello. Are you pleased with what I tried to clip as soon as I can? Thank you. We need to, but it's just here, so I mean, there's a little press, so you hold on. It does have a little scab on his neck, which I'll show you in a second. I'm just going to give him a jumbo by one of Phil's to keep him occupied. Teddy, and he just has to try and I know I'm still showing everybody remain as still as possible for the next 24 hours while that closes up so it doesn't fall out apparently I don't remember them telling us that last time I don't if I take the lead up as well so no potential rubbing there you go eat your bone good boy so we're now 24 hours later after the implant and I thought I'd show you how it's all healed up. He's doing really well. Um, and also, I also don't think I mentioned anything about costs. So I just thought in case anybody is actually interested or didn't know this existed, like me, a few years ago. Um, I can't even find the shave spot now. There's some on the back of his neck. Bear with. Teddy, where is it? Stand up for me. Hi. Easy when you're standing. Ready? Oh, more stretching. Somewhere here. Here we go. Got it. So hard with fluff. So that's what it looks like now. So it's all healed. Tiny little scab. Tiny little shave part that when he's standing, you can see. When he's sitting and stuff, you can't see it. Um, but yeah, it is more, much more expensive than um, castration. I think here, to just have the balls taken away for the surgery and everything, I think it's about £250. I don't know if they do that cheap because they promote sterilize, um, castrating your dogs. But it's about £250. It's been many years since I've had it done. Whereas... For the chemical castration, it's about 260, I think, for six months and 380 for 12 months dose. So, you know, you can either pay a one-off payment of 250 and get them done forever, or you pay 260 for every six months or 380 for every 12 months getting this injection. So it is more expensive, but it does give you that reversibility if you do want it. Um, and yeah, like I said, Teddy has had it done before. It lasted a lot longer than what... Um, the vet said it would 
so I'm hoping the same again. Um, and it does take a little while to come into effect. So over the next couple of days, he's having a surge of hormones. So he could behave slightly differently. Um, but it didn't last time, so I'm hoping it'll be the same this time. And it will calm him right down. Um, and he'll stop marking and he'll stop mounting. At least stop mounting Phil. Nico is fair game because she is mounting him all the time. It's the way of playing. They see who can hump who, but Nico always wins. So as long as he just stays away from my oldest Phil, that's what I'll be happy with.